using the Agora Android UI Kit is a pretty simple and a straightforward task. Let's have a look on how we can actually use the three lines of code to make our own live video streaming application. So let's begin by installing the Android UI Kit to our Android application. Now, the Android UI Kit is available through the Jitpack distribution. So let's head on to the Jitpack's website, that is the jitpack.io, to get all the build instructions. So simply head to the Jitpack website and search for the Android UI Kit. This will show you all the latest versions of the Android UI Kit itself. Now, simply clicking on the Get It button will give you the instructions for installing it. Now, let's use these instructions in our Gradle files to add the latest version of the Android UI Kit. We will begin by adding the Jitpack library into our project level build Gradle. Now, if you're using Android Studio Artifacts just like me, then you can head into the settings Gradle file and add Jitpack over here instead. Now, once you have done that, save this file and move to the module level build Gradle and add the latest version of Android UI Kit over here. Uh, and after doing that, simply click on sync now. This will sync all your Gradle files and make a, install all the required dependencies. Now, once the installation is complete, head into the manifests folder and add all the required permissions for your application. These permissions are can range from microphone, your webcam, your Bluetooth, your network state, so on and so forth. So once you've added all these permissions, simply save this file and head on to the main activity file. So we begin by declaring an object of the Agora Video Viewer class. This Agora Video Viewer class acts as the starting point to our Agora Android UI kit. Now after that, I am going to declare two more variables that is the app ID as well as a token that I received from the Agora console. Now once I've done that, I am going to create an onCreate method inside which I will be initializing my Agora UI kit and adding various methods to join the channel. So first things first, I am going to add a content view uh, which will be referring to an empty layout file. And after that, I am going to initialize my Agora Video Viewer class by passing the, uh, you know, passing the context and uh, my Agora Connection Data class, which takes a few additional parameters like app ID and app token. Now, once you've done that, you're going to add a content view, which basically casts the Agora Video Viewer class to your application. Now, over here, I'm using a frame layout uh, which uses the whole screen of the application. Now, basically, Agora Video Viewer over here will take the default UI of the UI kit and you, by the match parent parameter, it will cast it to the whole application itself, occupying the whole screen. Now, once you've done that, simply go ahead and join a particular channel by using the join method and give a name to your channel. Over here, I'm using a channel named test and add a role for your user uh, let's say I'm going to use a role of a broadcaster. And with this, we have our own live video streaming application ready with just three lines of code. Now let's go ahead and see how it actually looks. So once you've built your application, you'll have a UI something similar to this where you'll have your active user or a pinned user over here in the middle, uh, whereas all the other users inside the call will be present over here at the top inside a scroll view. Uh, now, you can scroll through these users to get an idea of how many users are there in that call. At the bottom, you'll find four built-in buttons, which is for toggling your camera, to toggle your microphone, to switch your camera, and finally to end the call. Over here, you'll find a state widget for your microphone, which basically gives you an idea whether your microphone is enabled or disabled. Now, let me join this particular call through my other device so as to give you an idea of how this application actually looks when there are two or more users in this app. So as you can see, when the other user joins, he's automatically added to the middle as he's the active speaker in this particular case. And also one thing to focus is that once, when you click on any other user at the top, it automatically gets pinned to the middle. So this is how easy it is to actually use the Android UI kit so go ahead and try it out and make as many customizations as you want.